So I'm going to actually have you watch. It's about a one minute commercial. And as you watch the commercial, I just want you to really start to pay attention to your own personal mind chatter. So. I'm too weak, too slow, too big. I ate too much for breakfast. I got a headache. It's raining. My dog is sick. I can't right now. I'm not inspired. It makes me smell bad. I'm allergic to stuff. I'm fat. I'm thin. It's too hot. I'm not right. I've got shin splints. Headache. I'm distracted. I'm exerting myself too much. I'd love to really, but I can't. I just can't. My favorite show is on. I got a case of the Mondays, the Tuesdays, the Wednesdays. I don't want to do this. I'm gonna do something else. After New Year's. Next week. I might make a mistake. I got homework. Well, I feel bloated. I have gas. I got a hot date. My coach hates me. Mom won't let me. I bruise easily. It's too dark. It's too cold. My blister hurts. This is dangerous. Ugh, sorry, I don't have a bike. I didn't get enough sleep. My tummy hurts. It's not in my jeans. I don't want to look all tired out. I need a better coach. I don't like getting tackled. I have a stomach ache. I'm not the athletic type. I don't want to get sweaty. I have better things to do. I don't want to slow you down. I have to do this? As soon as I get a promotion. I think I'll sit this one out. And my feet hurt. So. Crazy, huh? Um, this gentleman actually is a uh, gold, medal, gold medal winner at the um, Paralympics. So I actually have a, quite a passion about the power of the mind. Uh, and the topic of the day is, again, it's a very informal chat. And my intention today is just to kind of really plant a lot of seeds. Uh, but a lot of times what happens is we go through our lives and there are a million messages that we get that create an imprint. Uh, I, I know a bit I'm preaching to the choir. We all know that the mind is incredibly powerful. In fact, there's an infinite possibility to our minds. 2% is conscious, 98% is unconscious. And within this room, I know that you all each have a passion about touching people and helping them connect with possibilities. The thing is, we can only change what we're aware of. So if we're only aware of that 2%, and of that 2%, what are the messages that we're either hearing or we're telling ourselves? And here's the thing that I really find fascinating, which I really love this commercial, is that most of the time we're not even consciously aware of the mind chatter. I mean, it's playing 24-7. So what I love to do is help people first become aware, which we all know is a resilience attribute. Right? So once I become aware, then I can make choice. Right? I can only change and I can only choose from the things that I'm aware of. So how do we start to tap into that subconscious mind? And how do we start to change the imprint? That actually started to become really fascinating to me. And the cool thing is, is we're in an amazing time right now where there's a ton of research happening. And there's so much going on, and there's so much that's becoming part of, I heard someone say today, the collective consciousness. It's kind of like that hundredth monkey. It's the, the critical mass. So we're starting to learn things that even though we didn't know we knew them, we know them. Which kind of goes into that intuition thing that we talked about earlier. And it's, I find that it's not about learning, it's about remembering, right? Because if you think about all the ancestral knowledge that existed before us, it's all imprinted in us. It's just a matter of what gets triggered. And sometimes those imprints get triggered, right? So how do we start to shift that? And the book in front of you is also um, a beginning starting point. I have found that, again, first, paying attention to the mind chatter, right? So if I can pay attention to it, I can then start to maybe shift it, right? What could I choose to listen to? What do I want to choose to imprint? Uh, there is a um, medical doctor, which we all love medical doctors that come out with the woo-woo research that we like, yes, I knew it existed and I knew it was true. And now somebody's saying that it's true and we can kind of tell our leaders, look, it really is true. So Candace Pert, uh, who did a lot of medical scientists, went to Harvard, and she actually found out that each one of our cells have these little, ne neo no, the, these little peptides, they're like little antennas on each of your cells that kind of act like transmitters, right? So each of your cells has these little antennas and transmitters, and they transmit messages to the other cells. So again, the subconscious mind, every experience you've ever had in your life gets imprinted like your own little personal hard drive, right? 
And if we're, it, it sometimes what happens though with these negative messages, or, or I would say incorrect messages, or in, just uh, who's, who's, who am I? Who's my authentic self? A lot of times, if you were to ask somebody, what's your passion? What's your true nature? You'll be shocked at how often people just look at you like deer in headlights. Either no one's ever asked them that question, they've never paused long enough to say, what is the answer to that question? And it's just really something that just kind of sometimes stops them dead in their tracks because of all of this messaging that says you can't, you won't, you'll never, right? And so that almost becomes a virus. It's a program. If you think about your computer virus, it's a virus that's now running me, running my choices, running my behaviors, running my actions, and I don't even know it. So how do we start to change it? I kind of go back to that. The butterfly is a beautiful uh, message and analogy to what's possible. The butterfly has something called imaginal cells. In order to become a butterfly, the caterpillar must completely let go of being a caterpillar to become the butterfly. And what it needs is those imaginal cells. And guess what? We have imaginal cells. And so how do we help people to tap into these imaginal cells is by setting intentions. And so if we can help ourselves and our clients set intentions from a place of, you know what, it's already true. It already has happened. I am amazing. I am stupendous. I am vibrant. Whatever it is that is that I want to connect to, that I want to bring, connect to it from an I am statement that says, I already am that thing because you are. And then the thing that I would actually, again, if you, if you want to tap into Candace Pert's research, Molecules of Emotion, fabulous book, right? And the thing is, if once they set an intention, once you set an intention, I want you to connect. So if you pause just for a moment to say, what is it you want to connect to in terms of your true nature that you've disconnected from? And if you connect with that, just even if you take 10 seconds right now, what's part of my nature that I either want to bring more or have disconnected that I want to revive. And as you connect with that part of you, I want you to just pay attention to the very first and immediate emotion that comes to your mind. It doesn't matter what it is, very first and immediate. If it is what you would call a negative emotion, guess what? It's that virus that's playing. You want to start to, first of all, bring that to your awareness. No judgment, no good or bad, right or wrong. Right? If that emotion is something that's going to be a barrier, you want to start harmonizing yourself to it and say, you know what, that is not me anymore. That, that's part of me, I'm letting it go, just like the caterpillar. And you just kind of let it go and you keep going down the layers until you can kind of connect to something that is, what. I, and again, I don't like to use labels, but again, the emotion of positivity, of optimism. And once you can connect to that part of your nature and connect to a positive emotion, of optimism, bam. You've got the portal, right? You got the opening, and you're starting to create a new imprint that allows you and your clients to be their authentic, beautiful, shining lights that they are. So with that, enjoy your books and enjoy the rest of your days, and sky's the limits. <laughs>